Times set the stage for MH370 and Captain Zahari Ahmed Shah. The spectre of pilot suicide is raised because it comes into question what happens after the plane is lost to the military radar. He was killing himself. Unfortunately, he was killing everybody else on board and he did it deliberately. A pilot suicide, we have seen some very, a very few very unfortunate uh, cases of it because you're constantly evaluated, you're constantly put under stress, you're constantly tested. Uh, it, it just comes with the, with the job. You know, to have somebody just snap and elect to take their own life is a tragedy. But to do it and commit mass murder at the same time, it's very hard for me to even begin to understand it. Mm -hmm. and, and Simon, it's really hard for you to even watch it. Yeah, any, any uh, aircraft coming to grief and uh, people coming to grief inside it is uh, something that we're focused on avoiding. We don't even let people crash the simulator. In the course of your training, you won't let the, the guy crash the simulator. It's called negative training. Um, and you don't want it to go into his mind, even in the pretend situation of a simulator. If Captain Zahari Ahmed Shah had been intent on killing himself and all on board MH370, then this next discovery was confounding. Instead of crashing into the sea immediately, the plane had kept flying for another six hours. But with all its communication systems dead, where it had gone was anyone's guess. Ten days after MH370 vanished, engineers at Britain's Inmarsat shocked the world.